What's up guys, what it is here, and today I have a fun little project video for you guys. This is a replica German M38 helmet. These helmets were used by German paratroopers during the Second World War, also known as Fallschirmjagers. As most of you guys will know, these helmets are very rare to find these days and are very collectible as well, which has driven up the price astronomically in the last couple of years. Most of these original helmets in a condition like this, which I am holding, are worth the price of a small car. Which is why I thought I'd buy myself a replica and make it look a little better. I've had a fascination with the Falschmjagers for quite a while now as well, and Falschmjager Regiment 6 actually fought in my area during the latter the days of September 1944. And I'm gonna try to replicate one of their helmets being lost, let's say out in a field or in a ditch or in the woods, and being found 10 or 20 or 30 years later by a farmer passing by, or somebody walking their dog, or a guy on a bicycle or something. So we're gonna try to replicate that, so that I can have a very nice piece in my collection for display at least. Very quick disclaimer however, I will not be showing the entire process on how to do this. Um, because one, I do not want people coming here copying what I'm about to show you and then try to sell somebody a replica shell marketed as an original for let's say 3000 euros. So with that being said, this will only be used in my personal collection and I'm, well maybe some videos as well. But I will never sell this thing or market it as an original. And with that being said, let's go to step one, which is applying the decal. It is going to be a fairly long and arduous process, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. So without further ado, let's get right to it, shall we? What's up guys, Wartekist here.
uh, as you can see the decal is on and the liner has been a little bit colored and it stinks <laughs> uh, into a more realistic dark and brown I got some of the stuff on the rest of the helmet as well but that doesn't matter because the paint will be covered with camouflage paint anyway what we're gonna do now is weather it a little bit um, because you need to keep in mind these helmets when they rolled off the assembly lines in World War II and were given to paratroopers these were given to them brand new like this and before uh, field camo was applied they were <laughs> They went through a lot of other stuff, so yeah, we're just gonna try to replicate that now by doing Basically just doing some dumb shit with it <laughs> and weathering it in the exact places that it would be weathered um, If it were used correctly, so yeah Let's go As you can see, what most of this does is basically give it minor scuffs like that, but that is exactly what we want. We want normal wear and tear. But yeah, let's continue. Alright, so now we are on the asphalt, um, and what we're gonna do now basically is give it a little bit more of a deeper scratch. Well, give it deeper scratches, <laughs> obviously. And uh, we're gonna mainly scratch the dome here, which will be weathered a lot. We're gonna scratch the sides and uh, the brims of the helmet themselves. We're gonna scratch the liner straps as well. We're gonna do a lot of stuff with it. So uh, yeah, let's get to messing this thing up a little bit more. That is looking like it. Now the outside is actually fairly nicely done, except for that it's still shiny and all the sketches and stuff. But I really, really like this look. The inside, however, is still fairly new, so we are going to change that with some assorted sandpaper. Also, don't forget the small details, like the buckles and stuff like that, because if these are still brand new and the rest of the helmet is 80 years old, well, it looks 80 years old, then it's probably a fake. But yeah, let's get into this.
Well, and now that you've forgotten about your project for a good three weeks, let's see how it looks. What I'm going to do right now is, uh, because it's very wet at the moment, I'm going to treat it a little bit with a heat gun. Um, I'm not going to focus too much on the decals because those are fairly fragile. Um, but instead I'm going to focus on all this wet stuff and the rest a little bit. Give it more of a crustier look. So let's do that now. And voila, this helmet already looks totally different than when we first got it out of the box and put the decal on there. Um, we have a very light surface rust going now, which is bright orange, which is obviously a dead giveaway that it's not 70 years old. Um, but I do like the way that we've wetted it already. So what we're going to do now is we're going to paint it and sprinkle some sand and stuff in there, or some sawdust, um, to give this a little bit more of an authentic Fashmiak Regiment 6 look. And after that, we're going to chemically age it again. We're going to try to get the liner much, much darker and also a little bit of elongated because now it's bundled up here because it got wet. Um, we're going to try to get rid of the little orange surface rust and create a little bit more of a deeper, darker uh, color and feel. So yeah, without further ado, let's paint this lid. Now, most of the original helmets I've noticed start with a tan yellow base coat and are then worked over with some mud brown and dark green. I'm also going to try to uh, imitate some brush strokes on here. I'm going to do that by uh, waiting until it is semi-dry, like 50-60% dry, and then going over it with a brush to get the, uh, well, the illusion basically of brush strokes in there. When you're doing this, by the way, always wear some wet equipment and do this in a well-ventilated area. So here it goes.
Well, so there you go. I think personally it came out looking fantastic. You can very clearly see the brush strokes. I did not add any sawdust or sand or whatever, but there's more than enough examples, original examples to show that not all of them did this. The next step now is artificial aging, but we're gonna do that another day because it's gonna <laughs> rain and possibly snow today. And I have less than one minute of battery life and memory left. Because I've been shooting this video since late September and it is now December so yeah um, I hope you guys liked the video until now we're gonna do the artificial aging after this but I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more outside of course to weather it again a little bit but personally I think this looks fantastic up until now so yeah see you guys soon